Italy top flight finally has its winner. Napoli are decided to get the 2022-2023 Scudetto after a stellar campaign, crowning themselves champion for the third time in the club's history. After a much anticipated Serie A title, Napoli have finally been crowned Italian champions, winning the league by a sizable 16 points gulf. Superlatives men know, knew that a draw against Udinese would be enough to get across the line, and that they did just the, that night, being pegged back to a 1 1 draw away from home. No one associated with the club will, will care about the results, however, as the side the third ever Italian title is now theirs. It's long just been a matter of time that the side from southern Italy were going to get their first Scudetto since Argentina legend Diego Maradona's last in 1990. After they have been long sail since runaway readers of the Italian top flight, their run of 19 wins from 20 games stretching from September until the end of February was a key part which undoubtedly trusted, thrusted them into the most commanding Serie A position seen for years with other hopeful Juventus, Lazio and Milan simply unable to match the pace. After a slightly more rocky spell for from March onwards, falling to disappointing process against fellow title contender, contenders Lazio as well as AC Milan, the title was not yet won despite seeing a slight shaky side compared to prior Qatar World Cup. It was not easy for the fans to lose hope, with their main being over 15 points clear of their nearest rivals. After croaking up an eye-watering 25 wins, 5 draws and just 3 defeats, Sparity has expertly led his main light to the top. It has been clear to see some nerves creeping in recent weeks, however, falling to draws against Hellas Verona and Salernitana, either side of the Juventus triumph. The right high cap was not even close to worrying the leaders, however, and their commanding grid at the Harry saw them with their second chance of claiming the silver where this Thursday. It is true that the Saranatana draw turned out to mean more than just two points drop, with the city having to win to wait four more days before the side were set up for the title win on the second attempt against Udinese. Standout stars, the set the class of 2023's feet will long go down in history and Naples cities then will fondly remember how their heroes managed to replicate, to replicate what the side last achieved 33 years prior. Standout names like Victor on semi getting 22 goals across the domestic campaign as well as Giorgio. Kevicha Karatsikeria played 28 times just in the Serie A have become a regular feature on the backs of thousands of fans' shots. Whenever a side wins a league title, it's much more than just a job well done for from the forwards. Of course, in the case of Azuri's stalwarts, Meretti, Di Lorenzo and Nija Kim have been particularly important, each playing over 30 times. In the domestic competition, rating just 22 get past them. 
What remains to be seen is whether Spalletti will be able to convince the stars who have come of age to remain in Napoli players as they are certainly regained significant interest from the continent's biggest whether that attention being wanted or not. Jubilation in Naples, the city's excitement for the day when they were finally going to be called champions of the Serie A has been plain to see for weeks. In the southern city with streets bedecked in a blue procession of passionate fans draping banners over a very conceivable hook for a long-awaited homecoming of the coveted title. Everyone associated with the blue with the club was ready to see to for it last Sunday against Salernitana, but it was not to be for the Napoleon, Napolitans who had gathered across the city to cheer home what they had hoped to be victory at the first time of asking. Fans ex exclaiming things like, it's ours now, let's show the world who Napoli is, have not been any common in the city for months and the side's accomplishment will ensure mean a great deal for the entirety of the region. Even for those who are not self-proclaimed football fanatics. Udinese 1, Napoli 1. Patenopi see the first Scudetto in Saturday, 3 years. Napoli sealed the their first Serie A title in 33 years as Victor on semi strike and a 1-1 draw against Udinese. Having missed the chance to win the title in front of their own fans on Sunday, Napoli went into Thursday's crash at Dacia Arena knowing a point would be enough to claim their first Scudetto since the Diego Maradona era. Fittingly, it was talisman on Osimenes with his 22nd league strike of the season, who scored the goal to claim Napoli's third Serie A crown, cancelling out Sandy Rovirich's opener. Unlike Napoli's local rivals Salernitana, Udinese did not quite have the same commitment to postponing Napoli's party, which is sure to be one of the ages. Napoli's contingent of traveling fans were making all the noise in the opening stages, though their enthusiasm was dimmed when Rovrik planted a brilliant finish into the top right corner in the 13th minute, aiming to snap a three-game score strike in Serie A. Osimeni first is saved from Marco Silvestre soon after, while Patana in a crime, Kavicha Varaskelia had a penalty appeal missed following a van, following a valid review. Osimeni went close with a header just after half hour. Though Napoli were fortunate that Rovich had been unable to beat Alex Merritt for a second time at the other end a moment earlier. Napoli's number nine would not be denied again though, and after Silvestri paramount out Varaskeria, zero effort Osimeni slammed the home and equalized seven minutes into the second half. Osimeni thought he had made it 2-1 with 23 minutes remaining, only the goal to be disallowed due to the foul in the build-up. Luciano Spiretti's tension on the touchline was clear, but his team stayed calm on the pitch as they saw out a draw that will go down in their history. What does it mean, history maker? Osimeni, Varadskeria, and the rest of Spiretti's squad are going down in here. Napoli history. Perhaps they will never quit. Have the legacy of Diego Maradona 
but they will forever hold a special place in the hearts of the Azuri faithful who were last able to celebrate a title way back in 1990. Napoli have been called the Serie A champions with five games left to play. Only two teams in the three points for a win era had previously won the title with five games to go. Juventus in 2018-2019 and Inter in 2006-2007. The only shame for Napoli is that they did not manage to cap their title possession off with a win. Like a fine wine at the age of 64 years and 58 days, Spalletti is the oldest coach to win Serie A. It also marks the first Serie A title of his career with his last success as a coach in Italy having coming in 2008 when he rode Roma to the second successive Coppa Italia Triumph Wizard of OS. It had to be him, Osimeni, has enjoyed an extraordinary season and ended his mini scoring drought in emphatic fashion with the Nigerian rushing over to celebrate in front of the vast path of visiting supporters. The former real striker who may well be headed for pastures new next season has now scored 46 Serie A goals recording George Weah as the highest scoring African player in the competition's history. Napoli's coronation take place on Sunday when they host Fiorentina, albeting the fans and the players alike will likely have to shrug off their hangovers. Thank you very much and let's see other teams which are going to be champions area. But Napoli is the first to make it in Europe in this year of 2022-2023 season. Thank you and see you in other upcoming videos. If you like football so that you don't miss, subscribe. Thank you.